everybody so today I thought I'd do a birthday look my birthday was yesterday and I got a lot of compliments on the makeup that I was wearing so I wanted to film it for you guys and also this look you know you can wear it even if it isn't your birthday like it's really good for holidays because it's really like festive so let's go ahead and get started I've already filled in my eyebrows with Embark um, I ran out of my stud eyebrow pencil and I really I've been loving just filling it in with Embark. So that's what I've been doing lately. So the next step is I'm going to take my Coastal Sense Concealer in this color and I'm just going to highlight underneath my eyebrow with an angled brush. So then I'm going to take this brush which is like a little detail brush that I got from a craft store. And I'm just going to blend out that concealer underneath my eye. I'm just going to run some of that concealer on the top, just a little bit. Just whatever's left on the brush, just going to outline the top to kind of give that a little sharp edge too. I just love how that looks okay so the next step is we're going to prime our eyes and I'm going to use my soft okra paint pot by NAC and this is just like a neutral color um, primer and I like it because it goes with literally any eye color you want to put on any eye color another popular one I would say is painterly and then people like Groundwork too. Groundwork is a little bit of a warmer primer, but I, I use this one for everything. The next step is going to be um, applying our lid color. So I'm going to use the color Movement. And this is a MAC pigment that came in one of the holiday sets. Um, you can use like satin taupe or like some type of taupey color like that and put glitter in it. Um, but I really don't know like a good dupe for this color, but I'm gonna I'm gonna work on finding one So for my pigments, I just pour a little bit in the cap That was actually too much um, a little bit in the cap and then um, I'm gonna wet my brush with fix plus you can use water whatever you have to wet it And it's gonna give it a really like creamy consistency then I'm going to start putting that color all over my lid just all over the lid and I don't know if you can see but like wetting it just makes it more like vibrant and it makes it more like illuminating so then after we're done with this we are going to start building our crease color um, it's really simple what I'm going to use is a 217 brush and I'm going to start with the color corduroy and I'm just going to put that in my crease. Start working it in my crease. Then after we do that, we're going to take a blending brush and just kind of take a little bit more of the corduroy and just go back and forth to make sure it's like really blended well into the crease. After we do that, we're going to take Swiss chocolate, which is this brown here, and we're going to take our blending brush and apply that right above where we put our corduroy and connect it down. So now what I'm going to do is I always like my crease to be a little darker. So I'm going to take a little bit of Embark, this color here, on a 217. And I'm just going to run that right on the outer corner. Just on the outer corner. Just to give the eye some definition. So I'm going to use Era as my highlight, 
I'm just going to put that right underneath my brow because our brow's already highlighted, but just so it connects more with the look, we're going to run that a little bit underneath our brow to kind of soften that concealer. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. You can leave it how it is, but I just prefer to do it this way because it kind of softens the concealer. Once we're done with the eyeshadow, we're going to um, line our eyes, and I'm going to use my Milani Liquid Eyeliner, which looks like this. You guys have seen it before if you watch my videos. Okay, so after we do our wing eyeliner, we are going to line our bottom lash with black track, and I have to use this. I would use a pencil liner, but I don't have one right now, so we're just going to line our bottom lash line with black track. Simple and easy. And Black Track is a gel liner by MAC, in case anyone did not know that. Okay, and then we're going to do mascara. For mascara, I'm going to use Le Volume de Chanel, which looks like that. And this is in black. Look at those lashes. Like that is beautiful. Okay. Next we're gonna do is we are going to take our concealer and I'm using the Select Cover Up by MAC in NC45. And I'm gonna take a concealer brush and I'm just gonna cover my dark circles because they're outrageous. Actually, they're, they're a lot lighter than what they used to be. I don't know if it's because of my skincare. I need to do an updated skincare video because I have a lot of new things that I've been trying, like the MAC Volcanic Exfoliator, which, oh my gosh, you guys, it's amazing. Um, I really, really love that. So I want to do like a formal like video to like review it and everything because it's really new. Like, I've only been using it for like a week, but I like, I want to exfoliate my face every day. Like, that's how good that stuff is. And it feels, it leaves your skin feeling so velvety and soft. Okay, so I'm going to use Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And this is just a clear primer. And I'm going to use my 190 brush to put it on. And I have to wear primer, you guys, when I put on my foundation because otherwise... I will be an oily, hot mess. And, like, my makeup will come off, and I'm going to work today, and I really cannot afford that. So, MAC also has some primers, but I'm going to get those when I'm finished with this one. Okay, so, ah, Real Techniques brush, and just dab it on all over my face, swirl it in. Like, look how quick I'm putting this on. Like, and it's, it's blending out really nicely. Just swirl it on like this. It basically puts, it basically blends out the makeup on its own. Like, you have to do very little work. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my face with Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark, and I'm going to use my 150 brush to put this on very quickly. I love this powder. Okay. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Laura Geller blush and blush, br what is this? Blush and Brighten and Sunswept. And I'm going to use this little MAC brush to put it on. It's like, I think this is a fake MAC brush. I got this from eBay, but you know what? It works really good for blush, honestly. Because I want something that's like shimmery and like festive. And wait till you guys see the lips that I did. The lips are gorgeous. Okay, so for the lips, I'm going to take my lip pencil in Night Moth, and I'm going to line my lips with it. Yeah. 
So the look I'm going for is kind of an ombre look. So after we line with Night Moth, we're going to take Rebel Lipstick by MAC, and we're going to line, um, and we're going to put it on. And then after that, we're going to take our NYX lipstick. You can also use like Girl About Town or Lickable by MAC if you have that. Um, this is Shocking Pink by NYX, and we're going to put that in the very center. And so we get kind of like that ombre lip. And then the last step for the lips is just to take um, our Bobbi Brown Purple Lip Gloss. And you guys saw this in my haul that I did like a couple weeks ago. And we're going to put that in the very center to complete that ombre lip. And that is my whole birthday look. I think that's all the steps, but it's very easy to do. Um, I got a lot of compliments on this, so I hope you guys try it out for the holidays and send me pics because I love to see how it comes out. Okay, thank you guys. Bye.